stylish, you can be chic and still save energy. How to do it? We are going to show you. We have with us a very special guest. We have Reena Dhaka. She's a famous fashion designer. Reena, thank you for joining us. Reena, first of all, I must tell you, this is a beautiful home you have over here. But it's fairly large, so you're um, cooling and uh, keeping it well lit. It must be a challenge. So how do you keep your energy consumption down? I think uh, to opt for a, the old-fashioned uh, uh, cassette style of an air conditioner because you can turn them off when not in use versus a central air conditioning though it looks glorious but it very high on consumption of uh, electricity then of course uh, I found that uh, water harvesting has been a very useful handy workable phenomenon uh, we've tried it in our homes and uh, it's 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 working it's and it's showing immediate results. I am very keen to try the solar insulation, mm, uh, the panels. The only, especially at my workplace, because that would really help me to, you know, run the machines on another alternate energy, because the bills are especially are really high in commercial areas. And it gets very hot, despite everything else in the summer months. I personally believe one should shut all, for at least a good 10 minutes, all applicants, you know, just basically shut your mains off per day in your house. So you are doing a lot uh, yourself to save energy, but do you feel that one individual, one single person can actually make a difference to the entire society? Yeah, I believe that one man can change the world. It's like that ripple effect, you know, you throw a stone in a pond and the ripples will go around. So your environment will change and then slowly that effect will pass on to your neighbors and then eventually to society. I, I, I know I'm a, I'm a struggler with it. I have said big words, but the application is a struggle and I will carry on my struggle. They contribute massively to the country's growth, but this growth comes at a cost. Manufacturing units consume a lot of energy. If they are judicious about their energy consumption, these savings can add up not only to the growth of the economy, but also to their profits. So let's take a look at our contender who's setting up an example for others to follow. You name it and the chances are they make it. Established more than a century ago, the Godrej Group is one of the largest Indian companies. Through the years, the group has kept a strong vision of sustainability alive. The new recruits, we have got a program where we ask them, what do you like about Godrej? And one of the things which come out is our respect for environment and, 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 and uh, mission on sustainable. The sustainable growth is something it is very, very widely appreciated by the division. We have got some 3,000 to 4,000 employees staying in the company premises. So our regular interaction with them and the regular programs we have, the Earth Hour and the various green tips we give, it's, it's widely spreading. And now their manufacturing unit in Maharashtra, Godrej and Boys, has given a further boost to their green efforts by taking up the energy challenge. They have focused on three main areas, renewable energy, involving employees' awareness and upgradation. Solar water heaters are being set up to meet the hot water demand in residential complexes. While their manufacturing unit has witnessed employee awareness campaigns and replacement of old technology with new that conserves energy and water. So there are three prong approach which we observed. One was of the compressor. So they have got a dedicated high pressure compressor which we shut off after the first shift. Thereby we could reduce our air compressor consumption per se by around 20-25%. Second issue is about water. So we are filtering the sludge and separating out that water and we are recycling and we are reusing that water. The third and the last is we put a variable speed drive, variable frequency drive to match the supply demand gap and that is how we have been able to bring down the energy conservation by consumption by around 20 to 30 percent. Achieving zero waste, carbon neutrality, positive water balance and use of 30 percent energy from renewable source seems to be the Godrej Group's green mantra. It seems they're not very far from achieving these goals and winning the Mission Energy Challenge is just the motivation they need. 
big companies can really contribute towards saving energy. And how important is that? To talk about that, we have with us CMT of Godrej and Boys, Mr. Jamshid Godrej. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Um, we all understand the importance of being green, but how important is it for manufacturing units and companies that have so many arms to be green? Well, I think, first of all, uh, there are many, many uh, issues to do with manufacturing. Uh, one is energy. The other is the use of water. Third is waste and emissions. All of these uh, are part of the manufacturing process. But if you reduce the amount of energy and water and waste and emissions that you uh, employ in your manufacturing processes, I think it, first of all, leads to significant savings. Uh, secondly, I think it uh, allows you the opportunity to redo your entire manufacturing process in such a way that it reduces uh, all the pressure that you put on the environment. But when you have a vision like this, a company has a vision like this, how do the employees also react to it? How do you get them all involved in this? We have uh, rolled out the idea that by doing this, everybody benefits. And we, we explain that it's not just that uh, the manufacturing process is gained, but that the people who work in the company uh, work in a safer and better environment that the air quality is better, the water quality uh, can be much better. So I think when you put it all together that way, you know, there is a much deeper buy-in from the employees. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel that the future is really about green industries? Well, I think all industries have to move towards uh, being more green. I think for two reasons. One is that it's in their own inherent benefit. And the second is that I think that legislation uh, will come round the world whether in India or anywhere else. What do you expect from the government? How do you feel that they can make it more, uh, you know, give such incentives that it is beneficial for you also and the companies also to be good? Well, I think uh, you have to look at the government on from two points of view. One is from the incentive point of view. The other is from the legislative point of view. I think that uh, definitely we have moved significantly along both lines. I think there are significant uh, benefits uh, for companies to install energy consuming uh, equipment, replace it with more energy efficient equipment. Mm. But I don't think that that alone is enough. I think you have to have both. You have to have incentives and you have to have legislation in place. Yes, but I think that the legislation has to come uh, in consultation with industry. Okay, so it has to be feasible, it has to be doable, uh, it has to be the technology involved has to be understood. So there are many issues. I mean, it's not just that government has to legislate. And I wouldn't say that legislation is more important than incentives. Both are equally important. But the, the, the legislation has to be done intelligently. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. So you think you are smart? Well, I thought I was a genius till I had to answer a few simple questions on saving energy. Well, I managed to pass, but let's find out how high is your energy IQ. I think it's 3 litre. You have bottled water. 1 litre. 3 litres. Yeah. I'm guessing 1 litre. Three. Important part of the atmosphere. Important part of the atmosphere. Is all of the above. Yeah. All of the above. Woohoo! Thank God at least one I got right. Can I call a friend? Oh, I think it's Norway. Okay. Uh, US. <laughs> Iceland. That's all we have for you today on NDTV Grunt Force Mission Energy. If you have some energy saving ideas, do share them with us through Facebook or Twitter. Till then, keep watching NDTV.